Good morning from sunny Scotland again. Actually, I'm in the countryside today. And I, look, I don't know if you can see. Can you see here? This is Shank End Viaduct. And it's a very, very old viaduct that was a, a railway line. Let me zoom in a bit. You can see it there. It's a beautiful day here in Scotland. And this is the first time I've done any videos out in the country, but this is an old railway line. And up here, apparently, that used to be the train station. It's absolutely gorgeous. When the sun shines here, it's stunning. So, because it's been the Common Riding Festivities uh, Festival this weekend, this last weekend, this last time, I, well, the whole time I've been here, I have so much, so much, so much, so much footage. It's gonna take me like weeks to uh, edit it all. So this is just going to be a video today. I'm going here and I'm going to Hermitage Castle. Uh, an old school friend of mine just offered to take us, Alice and I. So we're going to go see that today and then tomorrow I leave. Here's Alice. Say hi, Alice. Hi. Okay. And the sounds. The sounds of Scotland. It's actually really, when, it, when the sun shines here, it's absolutely gorgeous. But there is no sunshine today. Just the nice hills. Next stop is Hermitage Castle, which is a really old castle. And I, I was trying to look on, it said it's one of the most sinister looking and histor history castles in Scotland. And I was trying to Google a whole load on it last night, but I never, I was, I figured I'd do some of it on the way here today, but there's no phone signal. I have one video that's come up, sort of, which is barely not, nothing exciting. And then I'm going to have this one and then that's, that's it. And then I don't know when I'm going to get all my other ones done. Then I'm flying tomorrow to Bangladesh. So I've got Bangladesh. <laughs> but to be honest, really, 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 really wish I was just flying to Iraq. I wish I was flying to Iraq tomorrow. Still missing Iraq. So this is a beautiful Scottish countryside. Uh, off to the castle now. Okay, guys, we made it to Hermitage Castle. So I'm going to look this here. Here is a brief history here. And I'm going to do slowly so you can see it. There's, uh, there's like hundreds of these places in southern Scotland. So there. I think you can see that. So let's go see the castle. Seven pounds. Hi. Ah! I don't know if you can see that. The castle. It's a bit different. This is Hermitage Castle. For sure. This is how it looks now. And these are important dates. Henry III almost declares war on Scotland when the castle was first built. Edward I, Mary Queen of Scots, rides 25 miles from Jedburgh to see the Earl of Boswell. And she almost died. I've been here. I, I mean, I've been here like a couple of times. One, one time. I'm just bringing Alice here. The castle. It was a seat of like three of the most. I'm reading here. Three of the most powerful families in Scotland at the time, and the, even just the building of the castle was a huge, big um, deal. It was. It almost. What did it say? It brought Scotland and England on the brink of war. Uh, something like that. I'm trying to read it here. I'm trying to read it as I go along. It says the bloodiest valley in Britain. It's very windy. It's quite eerie when you think of what went on here in the past. My friend that was here said that they saw ghosts here. In one of the photographs. Uh, it had a ghost. So oh, here's another little 
Over Moor and Moss, the most famous events in the castle's history took place on October 1566, when Mary Queen of Scots rode 25 miles to Hermitage to visit her wounded lieutenant and future husband, the Earl of Bothwell. Here she goes. And I said, word reached Mary that Bothwell had been killed when she was riding from Edinburgh to Jedburgh, a local court hearing. Um, but he was just badly wounded while making arrests among the reavers. So Mary spent a week, then sent out with her entourage for hermitage. It was on the way back. So when, when Mary Queen of Scots was ri riding on her way back, and she was an accomplished horsewoman, it says here. The legend says that she fell from her horse into a bog and they found a watch. So she got, she got injured and she spent a long, almost died. But she didn't, the, the, that's not how she died. She ended up in Jedburgh, which is a town close to my town. She ended up, I think it's said like a week or something. She was in Jedburgh, recovering after her, her fall. Old ruins castle. Pretty impressive. I was just saying a few minutes ago, it wasn't too cold, it's now it's freezing. So here's a picture here, look. Hermitage Castle was not always like here. In the 1330s, the Sulis family was most likely a hunting lodge where the chapel ruins are today. Um, so look, it's weird, like, that's what it looked like. And it looked like that. But Inside now. Okay, guys, look at this. It looks so cool with the the sky, the cloudy sky. Very forbidding. So now, let's go see inside. Wow. So I think this. From what I'm reading, this is the oldest part of the building here. This is one of the water wells that still survived, but this was the ground floor. And then up here is a spiral staircase, which led upstairs to where the family's living quarters were, up on these floors here. Amazing. Walk as far as I can go up here. Some of the parts are closed off for uh, danger. See the old, uh, for the archers or who do their archery. It's all mossy. This is so old here. Actually, I don't like to see what's in here. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, solitary confinement. This was the castle's prison. High status prisoners were held here and the relative luxury of a toilet and a window. The floor below was a grim pit prison down here. No light, fresh air or sanitation. And that was for the really bad people down there. God, can you imagine? It's so cold, imagine it back in the day, having been in prison in here. And it's June right now, and it's freezing. So you can imagine in the winter time how cold it must have gotten in here. Okay, so this is the Douglas Tower. One of the four corners of the tower. Look at it. This had apparently the accommodation quality was very high, and these chambers would have all been richly decorated. All the rooms on the upper floors have large fireplaces, toilets and decorated windows. Uh, one fireplace down here, but they would have all had fireplaces. It's unbelievable, huh? So look at this picture here. We get a good view here of how, how it would be decorated. It's hard to even imagine. The ground floor kitchen had a 
fireplace with a large oven. Actually, that looks like that over there. And entering another room here, Lairdy Living. Let's see what this is. I'm not sure what this is. Centuries of exposure to the elements have left the walls beaten and blackened. Once they were decorated with plaster and paint and glowed with warm and thin wealth. Um, so, one, this Springer stone was one of the base of a stone vaulted ceiling, fire resistant option than wood. Two, the stair tower gave access to the upper floors. And three, the fireplace met warm the servants on the frosty nights. I didn't know this, I'm just gonna put this around. When the border was threatened, Hermitage became a hive of activity, bustling with soldiers. On 11th of April, 1481, the Scottish Parliament ordered repairs to key border strongholds, including Hermitage, which apparently um, this one was in most danger because it's so close to England. Very interesting place if you've never been to any castle, if you're into castles and stuff. Uh, some people come to Scotland and just go to visit castles because there's hundreds of them. And this was where the staircase went all the way up to the top. It's massive. I like how it's all still just so old. <laughs> And mossy. So this is it from the inside. But like I was telling you, my friend who has a friend who took a picture, um, look, they said that then when they looked at the picture through one of the windows, there was a ghost. But you always hear these kind of stories in places like this. But it's the outside, although the inside is really cool. The outside of this place is like hugely impressive and a friend of mine had a, had a drone I, I saw someone take a drone put some drone pictures across here and it was stunning to see um, a drone okay so <clears throat> that was Hermitage Castle like literally about I think like something like 12 miles just 12 miles from Hoyke from where I come from from my town in the borders uh, and there's like I said, there's hundreds of these places, castles and stuff around this area because the borders were like the, d the main line of defense from the Englishers. So, but it's a really impressive old, old, old building if you like that kind of thing. Okay, final place is the Chapel of Hermitage. The de Soules family once worshipped in this simple chapel. It probably served as a hunting lodge that stood here along with workshops and stables before the castle was built at Hermitage in the 1300s. Look for the surviving earthworks on the wall. Below, the, there's nothing here now, but you can just see. We'll find windows. We have some local legends. This is the, the graveyard and the chapel, which is no longer here. So that's it. I don't know who are the graves. I'm going to have a look and see if I can see on the gravestones other than that. Oh, I think our my castle tour of Hermitage is done. I, I Actually, I don't see any names on here. They're so old. They're so old you can't even see what's written on them. And it doesn't say in the guidebook. What does it say in here? Let me see. This is the foundations of the 13th century chapel. That's it. So that's it guys, Hermitage Castle and the chapel. So goodbye from here.